Good afternoon, adventurers, and Merry Christmas. Um, we have traveled here today to Shakopee, Minnesota. Uh, there's a little patch of wilderness here. There's some hiking trails on it. Um, I, I don't think this is a designated park or anything. It's just an open area, I guess. It doesn't have a name or anything. There just, just happen to be hiking trails here. Um, there are about 5.8 miles worth of hiking trails. I don't know that I'm going to do all of them today, but they're all dead ends. So, I'm about a quarter mile away and already. It is 17 degrees. There's about, well, three, four inches of snow on the ground. Uh, let's go see uh, what's at the end of these trails. Look at all these bird tracks. Tons of bird tracks. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. But if you see over here, I don't know, right around here, there's some towers poking up above the tree line. That's Valley Fair. Theme park here in the Twin Cities area. You can see some of the rides popping up above the trees. Alright, so I've reached the Minnesota River. It is unbelievably low. The glorious Minnesota River. There's a pipeline crossing right here, so there's big signs here. Found them, right in the very top. Probably can't see it on the camera. Right up there. I 
haven't found the elusive woodpecker. All right, folks, it's break time. Got the usual Coca-Cola. And I love these Kirkland organic applesauces. They're perfect. It tastes great. They're in little convenient packages. They're nicely sealed so they won't break in my backpack or anything. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd take them like backpacking long distance or anything because they are kind of heavy. But, and the other thing I don't like about them is it's kind of a lot of plastic waste. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to reduce it, but, you know, just this plastic top in the bag, it just seems like a lot of plastic waste for a little bit of applesauce. But, I love these things. Being at the end of the year here, end of the season, I kind of wanted to just take a little second here and kind of recap the year. And, uh... Uh, it, it was an okay year for hiking. I I got out a lot, did a lot of day hiking, but it kind of lacked in uh, some backcountry hiking. I didn't do a lot of uh, backpacking this year. I I did a few trips, um, but I had about twice as many planned, and half of them either got canceled or um, something bad happened. So, and that was kind of a lesson I've learned also in, uh, video, you know, recording these, these trips of mine, is I should, I should record the bad times I have too, and I, I've kind of been staying away from that and not showing the bad things that happen, but I should show those too. A couple of trips I've taken, one, I brought my kids out on a, a hiking trip, and they didn't bring... I treat my clothes in uh, permethrin. So the bugs weren't bothering me, but they didn't They didn't bring any bug spray at all or anything, and they were getting eaten alive. The bugs were terrible this year. And they had no bug protection whatsoever, and we had to turn around and leave. It was that bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad for me, and I had, you know, my clothes were all treated. But, so that was the trip that got canceled. Another one, um, me and my buddy went to uh, a trail we were going to do. And when we got there, it was early in the spring, and I think it was in May. And we got there, and there was still like three feet of snow on the ground. And there wasn't any snow here in the cities, but up north there was still a lot of snow on the ground. So we had to cancel that one as well. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, so hopefully next year I'll, I'll get out in the backcountry a little more. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a pretty good year. Got done a lot of exploring around the more local areas. Um, in the future, coming up uh, season two of Happy Trail Backpacking. And um, I got some pl some plans already coming up. Um, I think uh, I'm going to head out to Colorado. I think I'm going to be heading uh, somewhere uh, to the southeast, um, like Missouri or Indiana, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so what I was going to do is I'm going to take a uh, month off here in January and then we're gonna start season two of Happy Trail Backpacking on February 6th will be the the season premiere <laughs> also I <clears throat> I don't do a lot of winter camping hiking honestly this is probably the most winter hiking I've ever done uh, today um, 
I've hiked where there's snow, but it's not really in the winter time, and it's not really that cold. Um, this is probably the coldest I've come out in, 17 degrees. But I'm open to giving it a try. Um, I do have a couple of uh, winter activities planned for the beginning of season two next year. So check that out. It's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be exciting. I don't want to give it away. All right. Break time is over. Now we've reached uh, a point in the trail where it kind of turns kind of went straight down, took a right, took another right, and now I'm going to take another right and head back towards that first trail that I started at. <clears throat> I'm about three miles in, so um, I'm going to start heading kind of back because the sun is setting. I don't know where it is, but uh, it's gonna start getting dark soon, so. It's a lot slower going than I anticipated here in the snow. So, let's go. I just came across this thing. It doesn't look like it's in good shape, but it's massive. Massive. Folks, I'm approaching the parking lot now. So this hike is wrapped up. Uh, it's actually really nice out here. It was uh, very quiet, very serene. Um, I saw no animals. There was well, I saw some birds, but. Uh, there was one fish I saw in that hole in the lake, right at the beginning, and I saw a fish swim right up to the surface there, but uh, I don't know if you could see it on the GoPro, but uh, yeah, it's nice out here. Um, I've never been here in the summertime, but uh, half of the trail seemed very wide and well kept, but the uh, back part the loop that I did seemed like it was non-existent it was on the map but I was thinking that it wasn't even there in the summertime um, anyway that route wraps it up for this hike and for the season of happy trail backpacking make sure you check me out February 6th for season 2 happy trail backpacking <laughs>